Good morning. Well, today I um, start working a little bit on my, uh, I remember I mentioned one of the projects I have going is my Brazilian Mauser, one with the cut barrel. And I hadn't really decided what to do with it yet. Well, that project is uh, is underway now. I, um, I don't know if I mentioned, I, I, I had just, just for the heck of it took the barrel out of uh, the uh, the uh, the action of the barrel out of my uh, Greek FN Mauser and tried to put the Brazilian in and it fit perfect like it was made for it. So what I did was I bought a Belgian FN stock. They're cheap, it's like 60 bucks. And my Brazilian fits inside of it perfectly. So it fits inside there perfectly. Now the barrel sticks out a little bit. Um, for the actual uh, Brazilian short barrel, uh, short uh, um, rifle, the barrel is is uh, 23 inches long or a little over 23 inches, and this is 24 inches, so it's only an extra inch. So I decided I think because it's such a beautiful crowning job that they did on it that I'm going to leave it the way it is. I mean. It's, I'm not going to be putting a bayonet on it anyway, because that would be the, the problem would be that things would be too far out for the bayonet to fit on the lugs. So I'm basically looking for a home for, for this to, uh, to live in. Some of the other problems that I have is, uh, well, let's talk, talk about the positives first. And the positives are everything fits. The, uh, the special the, uh, quick release swill fits on there which is kind of neat. The butt plate fits from the, from the, the rifle itself. Uh, the, all the trigger guard, the magazine, all that stuff all fits. The bands all fit. The, the problem is um, it has no sights on it. So what I've done is I bought a Brazilian rifle sight. They come like this. It goes over the barrel like that. And, uh, and sits up there. It'll, it'll sit up here. Um, it won't fit up there quite yet. It's really tight. And I think there's two reasons for that is number one, there's an awful lot of silver solder in here, which I plan on using that to my advantage. And um, the other reason is that they're, they're always tight. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put this, my barrel on the receiver, in the refrigerator that I have that's very low and let it sit overnight and so that the uh, metal will contract and then tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up real hot physics says that it'll expand and when it expands then I should be able to slide it on up um, to where it's supposed to be it'll go up pretty far to, to where it's supposed to be it's that's as far as it goes and it only has to go that far so it's, it's almost there um, so that's another positive there. The big negative is the front sight. In the front sight, hearts all over the place. The front sight is also a ring. I don't have it, but it's a ring that goes over the more narrow part of the barrel. The narrow part of the barrel obviously has been cut off, so it's a little bit big. It's five hundredths of an inch. Uh, to, to the barrels five hundredths of an inch too big or the site is five hundredths of an inch too small, whichever way you want to look at it. That's the, that's the problem that I'm, that I'm looking at. Uh, a lot of times what Mauser has done is they will take the barrel and they will annular uh, cut. It's, it, it sits inside and it goes around and it cuts the outside of the barrel down to the the thickness that you want it to be. Like I said, I only have to cut five hundredths of a of a um, of a uh, of an inch off, which is really it seems like not a lot, but it really it's it's a lot, and it has to go back an inch and a half so that it'll sit back. That's one of the the um, things I could. I don't know any machinists to do that for me. My uh, gunsmith buddy is is heading on out to Florida, so he's not really doing anything right now. I saw they sell one, but I'm going to have to do my research because I don't want to screw this up. 
Um, the other is try to find a site that's big enough to fit over the, the top of this barrel. And uh, that would be the easiest way. And, um, you know, I'm not in any hurry with this, so I can do, I could do that. You know, I'm not in any hurry. I'm always in a hurry. Um, so that's the one major problem with the gun right now is at the front sight. Um, they had cut that off because, um, you can see the screws in there and they had drilled and tapped it and, um, in for a sight, I mean, for a uh, scope. So there was a scope sitting on top of this and I, I don't want to do that. I'd like to try to make it, although it'll be a bastard, it'll, it'll be, uh, I want to try to make it look pretty cool or at least, uh, more traditional which is why I'm not going to get um, the barrel replaced now I've turned this into a project and, and the project to me is uh, much more important so I, I, that's where I stand with this um, I'm going to start by stripping the stock and um, and getting that um, ready to go um, it's a shame that this Brazilian the long rifle stock I don't know if you can see it's beautiful it's, it's a uh, curly maple and I don't know if you can see the curly maple or not but I guess well anyway if you've ever seen curly maple it's it is good it's curly maple okay should I bring it back you can see it better it's got like the tiger stripes on it and, and um, it's really beautiful and I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to hang on to it because I'll be able to use it again probably for, for something else. And it's one of those things where should I order a stock? Oh, no, I got one. So uh, this will go in my, my stock and barrel closet and probably be there when I die. But it's uh, but anyway, at least I'll have it. Um, I couldn't help myself. I um, Yesterday I bought... I was buying a gun for the uh, the boy that comes, a uh, boy that's 16 year old man, I guess. They came up to uh, help. That's gonna come up here so I can help him build a gun. And it's a uh, Colombian Mauser. It's a it's a K98, um, which means it's a shorter rifle than than uh, the full size Mauser. And uh, it was made in Germany and it um, was sold to Colombia. Um, it's really they're kind of a mess. And uh, so I thought that would be a good project for him to do. And I went and bought one for myself. So I have another project down the road now to a Colombian Mauser in 30-06. Um, in, uh, Did I say 13-06? In 30-06. Uh, and I don't own any 30-06s, so this would, be a, uh, this would be a good one. You know, they, like I said, they look pretty bad. But I talked to the guy, and he said that the, the barrels are actually pretty good. And they're... The, it's inside, so he said he'll uh, send me a good one, so or two good ones. So that's my next 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 project. So I uh, I just keep piling them up, and uh, eventually I'll get to them. I work on these when I have time, when there's nothing else going on, and uh, and it's a it, they're time fillers. And uh, anyway, so that's the status of the Brazilian. And I don't know what it'll be when, when I'm done with it, what, it's, what you could call it, but um, I'll keep things posted and updated on what's going on. And uh, and it, it's fun. This is this is part of the fun of, um, of working on these guns is the uh, trying to figure stuff out. And it'll get, get, it all gets figured out eventually in the end. Um, although I probably would like to have a set of those that you could... Uh, decrease the outside uh, diameter of the barrel because uh, some of the guns you can do that before you thread it if you wanted to put something on the outside to thread um, but I don't know we'll see we'll see Sam is right around the corner too so all right well well thank you